Hi there. Let's look at a new feature in BigQuery called Data Q&A. So here I have a, a public data set called COVID-19 USA Facts. And this basically has information on the number of coronavirus confirmed cases and deaths. What I need to do for Data Q&A is that I need to have a table in my own project. So in order to do that, what I will do is that I'll just create a view in my project. So I can do select star from this place uh, and just let's just do current date so that this remains valid uh, whenever we do it. And I'll do create or replace view. I'll give it the name of my data set. Let's call it COVID-19 USA facts as. So this will now go ahead and create a view in my project. And because I now have something in my own project, I can go into data Q&A. Let's go ahead and delete this because so we can start fresh. And let's go ahead and enable a new table. The new table will be called advanced data COVID-19 USA facts. Let's do that. Enable the table. And notice that data Q&A has made some pretty good guesses on what these columns are. So if you remember from uh, basic dashboarding, a metric is a kind of thing that you do sums, you do aggregates, you do averages, etc. And of course, you'd be adding up cases, you'd be, uh, you know, you'd be doing the average of them, you would be summing them. So those are metrics. A dimension, on the other hand, is a kind of thing that you do a group by. So you'd be grouping by state and by county, etc. And that's why, uh, and the guesses here are right. County is a dimension, date is a dimension. You would tend to group by date. You wouldn't average a date. You wouldn't sum a date. Uh, you would group by a state. You would sum the number of deaths, right? So those, those, all of these seem to be fine. But I mean, no one says confirmed cases. Uh, when we're talking natural language, we might probably call it cases. So let's just call that cases. And similarly, no one would say county name. So let's go ahead and call this county. So we'll just go ahead and add a couple of synonyms and go ahead and save this. So at this point, data Q&A has been set up. And once this is set up, now we can open it up to everybody in our organization. And the first thing that we could do is we could go ahead and say, let me ask a question of data Q&A. So we could go here, select this table, and what question do we ask? Well, let's say, for example, um, which county has the maximum number of cases, right? Uh, generate the equivalent SQL, and we basically get select county name, sum of confirmed cases from this group by county name. Let's open this in the editor, run it. And it says county, which is Chicago, Queens County, Kings County, Suffolk County, LA. All seems pretty reasonable. I just asked a natural language query. The SQL got created and the SQL actually runs and gives me the right result. Let's try something a little more complex. Let's go down here. Last time I just said which county had the maximum number of cases, right? So here, let's say which state has ma maximum number of, but which state has maximum number of cases in March? I had. Let's be kind of grammatically correct here. So let's go ahead and say which state had maximum number and notice that the date is between March 1 and March 31st. It's done, done a state. It's going to group by state. It's going to sum them all up. Beautiful. Let's run this. And yep, New York, that was March. And then New Jersey and then California and Washington and Miami, uh, uh, no, Michigan and so on. Pretty reasonable. Let's go back here and let's try something else. 
let's say which state and county had maximum number of cases over past seven days. That's pretty good. Let's see, let's see if it figures this out. And again, now again, the date is here, state and county, because I asked for state and county. There it is. Open this in the query editor, run it. Lo and behold, LA County in California, Cook County in Illinois, Queens County, New York. And this is the last seven days. Pretty neat, huh? Just natural language queries, creates a SQL, you get to run it. I mean, who uses a UI? The kind of person who wants to do natural language will probably want to do something in Sheets. So let's go try it out in Sheets. I will do sheets.new. So this will go ahead and create me a new sheet. And I'll go down here and do a data connector, connect to BigQuery. And there's my analytic solutions and the new table that I just created, the view I just created. And I'll connect to that. Hooray. There we go. It's connected. And let's go ahead and start analyzing. And let's do something very similar here. Um, number of confirmed cases in California over past 14 days. There we go. We basically, that was a question. Uh, and here's our answer. And we can go ahead and see the formula. And this is basically the formula that, oh, it's correct. And notice that I said California and Sheets knows that this table actually has state codes. So it automatically used CA, which is pretty cool. So again, uh, this is just another way uh, where you can basically do data Q&A this time from a Google Sheet and the actual query is being done in BigQuery. Uh, data Q&A is in private alpha. If you're interested, reach out to your Google uh, sales rep. Enjoy.